What's up everybody? Welcome to Draw School, episode five. I will be teaching you guys how to draw the mouth in this episode. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Roll that intro. Okay guys, so drawing lips. We already know where the mouth goes from previous episodes. You guys remember this, we know that the mouth goes here. So we know that much. But how do we draw lips like that? So if I was looking at this reference, I would start by drawing the corner of the mouth there. I would follow that line up like that. Quick little squiggle at the middle, back down and the other corner. All right, and that's basically the only line you really want to have when you draw lips because the rest you do is shading. You might want to finish off the sketch a bit so you can know where you're going to shade at. So if I were to finish it just so I can know where I'm going to shade. Now the reason why you want to just do this line and nothing else is because you want to use light and shadow to draw the rest of the lips. For instance, the top of the lip is usually in shadow on your face. So looking at the face from the side, you have your nose, top of the lip, bottom of the lip. So you see if light's coming down, it's hitting the top of your lip and creating a shadow under your lip here. And then usually your bottom lip is catching that light. Top of the lip, bottom lip, nose, light, light here, which creates a shadow under here, light here, which creates a shadow under here, light here, which creates a shadow under here. Got it? Cool. So let me add some shading to the lips real quick. So you add a lot of shading at the corners and at the line. You want to do like a gradient. Gradient is smoothing from dark to light. So you have the shadow there, gets darker as it gets to this line. And then you have an even darkness inside of your mouth. Sometimes you can see a little bit lighter, the teeth in there, still in shadow. And then this lip would be a lot lighter because you'd see a shadow here, cast it by the top of the lip. All right, so then you shade the bottom of the lip. And depending on how juicy the lips are, you wanna add a little highlight here that goes like this. Lips aren't the smoothest of things. There's sometimes a lot of wrinkles, skin folds and stuff. So you can go ahead and add some texture if you'd like. And voila! And then you have the shadow for sure underneath your lips because it goes light here, shadow here, light here, shadow here. So side lips, you have to imagine it's like a three quarter, like somebody that's like this. So their lips, be like so, bottom, middle will be here. That's always good to figure out where the middle of the lips are. Indent and then down for shortening. So you see this side is a lot shorter than this side because this side is further away and kind of going around the face because the face is like this. So if we have some shading to that, so there we go. We have some lips. Let's do a bonus, bonus lesson. Bonus. Teeth. Teeth are super fun if you get crazy with it, right? Now we all know that you can do a lot of expressions with your mouth. So let's say you have a, an open mouth. This is more cartoony by the way, right here. You find the middle of your mouth. I don't really draw each individual tooth because that sometimes looks scary. So I find like the gum area, the middle gum area, I go down and I kind of do each tooth like this. Then you add the gums up here. And then that is not as scary as other things. So there's teeth in the bonus, the bonus lesson. 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 And how would the lips go around the teeth? That's what we're going to figure out. Seeing as this is a lips and mouth tutorial, the teeth just kind of snuck in there. Tongue and shadow. I'm not using reference right now, guys. Just so you know, just going with the flow. So if his mouth is open like that, then that means that I have to throw the lips around the face because it's a 3D object, right? So the face probably goes like that around you know so the lips corner corner i would throw it up and depending if this is a girl or man as well it would be more more plump lips for a woman than a man the little indent part of the lips there and down to the bottom because it's curvy in the bottom of the lip a shadow here i would just draw a shadow here that looks kind of wild a little shading so there's a scary looking mouth. 
Now we talked about expressions for the mouth. Let's just go into a few different expressions. All right, so giant smile. I start at the corner of the mouth, looping line, kind of like a curved line like that to finish it off. And then you have the teeth up here and then the teeth which curve around inside the mouth as well. Throw a tongue in there if you like. And voila, super huge smile. That might be too small, is that too small? You draw bigger. What am I doing? Smile. Let's move on. Let's do somebody anger. So how we do that is this time not the corners of the mouth. Hey, yeah. We do a line like this and then down to the corners. And then kind of like a curved line like that. And the teeth are clenched. This person is mad. And of course you gotta accompany the mouth with the eyes and <laughs> Okay. Uh surprise is easy. Throw a circle like so. Or that's a ooh. Maybe surprise is more like a little bit of teeth showing. What else? What other expressions we have? So far I did smiling, angry, and surprised. That's pretty much it. That's all you got. <laughs> Actually, last one, here we go. Just blowing a kiss. Or if you wanna draw somebody doing a duck face for the camera. Put this into basic shapes real quick. If the lips are gonna go here, right? And it's kinda coming out of the face. So you have kinda like this situation going. Puckering up. Bottom lip is a lot more pronounced because that's the one you push out more. So it'll be like that. Aha, uh -huh, we figured it out using basic shapes, guys. I'm telling you, once you understand just basic shapes and figuring things out in 3D, you can draw anything. Once you study it and observe it and figure out what it's actually doing. So look at that real quick. We have puckered up duck face lips. So that is the mouth, guys, with a little bonus teeth. Which, let me just do another bonus teeth. If you were to draw them without lips, they go around the face like so. And this is what I didn't want to do earlier. If you draw, if you were to draw the teeth like this, all right, each individual tooth and so on, we have 32 teeth, just in case you were wondering. All right, I'm not gonna come. But like, that, that looks weird, right? Is it just me or it just looks like weird? So what I do, and shout out to my friend Wes, cause he's the one that taught me this back in college actually. And I was probably drawing teeth like that before that. So shout out Wes for sure. Boom, middle of the mouth, right? That is where if someone has a gap, that's where that gap will go. And you draw the gums, mainly you draw the gums. Basically, that's what you're gonna draw. So we know the two middle teeth, two middle teeth. Then I know you have some other teeth that kind of look like the front two. Then you have the one, your vampire teeth after that. I'm not a dentist, so I don't know the names of these that much. So then you just draw the bottoms as well. That's the sharp one right here. I gotta make Wes proud. <laughs> there we go. And then you got, all right, boom. And then this is when your molars start and go into the back of your mouth and they kind of just go into space. You hardly ever see those, so we're not gonna try to draw those. The same thing for the bottom teeth. And again, this is in general, guys. General, look at your reference. See what the person you're drawing teeth are actually doing. So say this person has teeth like this. Some are crooked, can be the case sometimes. Now, to me, that looks a lot more realistic, right? And you probably learn this by drawing skulls. In art school, we drew skulls a whole lot. A mouth lesson just turned into a skull lesson. Ta-da! All right, there it is, guys. I'm gonna end the lesson here. Real short and sweet. I'm just gonna finish up this reference right here. Where is it? Where is it? I'm just gonna draw this one time while it's sped up. Hopefully you guys like the video. Thank you for watching.
that's it guys hopefully you learned a lot about how to draw mouths on this episode and now for the winner of the illo sketchbook alex linders you won so thank you for watching commenting liking and subscribing you will get one of these bad boys right here the illo sketchbook just go ahead and send me an email at contactdrawschool at gmail.com as for the rest of you guys thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe like and comment for a chance to win one of these next month and i'll see you on the next episode